morning everyone it's Zenzi we're back with indigenous ingenuity by Deidre Haverlock and Edward K Deidre died yeah such such that's I want to sincerely apologize to every indigenous tribe of Turtle Island that I have no um, flexibility in my speaking equipment. Um, my, my mouth, my tongue doesn't know how to say ancestral words. I'm also not particularly good at English. I'm working on it, but when I was in first grade, I took a decision to not talk. I'm like, here's the definition of the word, but you're using it in a bizarre way. Like we talked and we've got these words like discipline. It means punishment, but also a category of profession or study. Like I just came upon this when I was trying to come up with interdisciplinary. I need a whole group of take me to your intellectual apex intellects. Like Gabor Mate, Robert Sapolsky, Stefan Alexander. We, we, we need a working group on consciousness that is science informed, trauma literate, and we're going to unite us all as one species with a definition of consciousness that takes all this into account. We're going to do some Socratic improv here. So I went on just one chapter from what I read yesterday. Well, yeah, I was reading the nutritional stuff, and I got to talk to people about their wheelhouses. <laughs> they got some of the nutritional stuff wrong. Um, the advice we got all the not the indigenous stuff, please. Um, um, but just then saying, you know, they ate lean meats. <laughs> trying, uh, trying to describe the diet. They knew the diet. I'm not as good as that anywhere near what, what the indigenous people were eating. I've got some information, but not a lot. But then when they were trying to explain it in terms of right now, lean meats, they ate the organs, man. And pemmican, they, earlier they'd been talking about pemmican. This is, this is one of the ways where we as a society, a sociocultural unit of Turtle Island, the, the northern part. We're constantly contradicting ourselves. So they've been talking about pemmican. So they prioritize the organs. But there's only one, you know, there's only so many organs, even in a bison. You know, there's only so many portions of liver. So the pemmican, they would eat the, the muscle meat with a lot of fat. They rendered the fat, which made it... Um, just like salting fish so in the pemmican they said that and this is the, our ancestors were brilliant i'm telling you oh my goodness this is we're going to get to re today's reading quickly yes much quicker um page 113 tanning tanning is an effective and sustainable method that turns the skins of fur-bearing mammals like bison elk moose caribou and deer into well-preserved material suitable for footwear bags and clothing why is bags in them? Well, they had to carry stuff. More important, not not our current status baggy thing. Hide that is not tanned is called rawhide. Rawhide is stiff, vulnerable to water and microbes, and completely unsuitable for clothing. To turn rawhide into a hide that is soft, warm, and durable, tannins in italics in my voice as well. Tannins and oils are necessary. Get this. Tannins occur naturally in things like fruit, tree bark, and also brains. Put this on Wikipedia. Wikipedia is not down with this. Indigenous peoples discovered that an animal's brain usually contains just enough of the right chemicals, tannins and oils, to tan its own hide. Animal brains tan animal hides. I gotta get this. PR, news flash. This means indigenous peoples from the subarctic through the Great Plains and into Mesoamerica, Meso, Mesoamerica, oh, this talking thing, and all soaked their hides 
They, from, from, they all soak their hides in a goopy mixture of brain matter. I'm going to go on just a little bit more. Leather made by brain tanning is not only high quality, but its production is much more environmentally, environmentally friendly than most contemporary industrial made leather, which typically uses arsenic, cyanide, and chromium. Tanning all oh, hazardous chemicals by the US EPA. Last sentence here. The naturally occurring tannins in animal brains help to break up the collagen fibers that cause hides to harden. Let me, let me, let me sum this up for you in evolutionary logic. Bioelectromagnetism. Tannins, which you go to Wikipedia and all you're going to get is a class of plant molecules. And at the top, they're saying biomolecules. They're sort of on it. I didn't scroll enough. It's too technical. But really, modern science is not aware of the tannins in animal brains when they're going on and on about tannins being plant compounds. Plants. Compounds. predicted, predicated, predicated animal brains. Plant compounds predicated animal brains. How did they figure out? What did they do? You make a goopy brain matter soup to tied hands. To tan hides. Tied hands. To tied hands. Collagen, fur. We have a very big scientific dilemma. DNA does not explain why we are 100%, well, 97% more human than the great apes, the bonobos, chimpanzees, and gorillas. Why are we so different when our DNA is 98 to 99% identical? Science, please. I know, and I need you to pay me so I don't perish because we all need to, we need this information. I really love this book, Indigenous Ingenuity Book, teaching me. Only the ancestors can teach me. Let me tell you something. People in this socio-cultural educational framework have nothing to teach me right now. They need to sit on the floor and listen to me for a while. We've got to talk about bioelectromagnetism. I cannot tell you I'm pursuing this collagen lead and it's a big one. All right. Tannins, collagen. Indigenous ingenuity. Oh my. Harmony.